In this video, I will show you a technique how we could separate the body into different elements. See here, I have two times the same object. And then this way we can add a particular material to it as we want. In addition, what I will show you is also very useful for 3D printing. When, for example, we would like to print certain parts out of different materials, kind of like this should be a green material and a white material. Okay, with all this set, let's take a look at your model. I simply go to Brush Sculpt 2. And we know that I can, for example, select certain faces like here. Um, let's give this whole object a material and then this I give an additional material green, say apply. Before I hit a, uh, a sign, take a look at where this line is. The sign, very good. Okay. So right where these edges are, I can add a material. So that works. But now if I want this line be rather here, I would have to slide this one down, but as you can see, that changes the geometry. So that's not really ideal. So let's uh, delete this and delete this. And we will do the following. We will make a clone. Before we continue, let me explain what a clone is. I just make a cube for innovation. Shift D, I make a copy, and then Alt D, I make a clone or make a duplicate linked. This is my original cube. If I move a point, nothing happens. These two are linked. And this, but you see, they're the same. So the way how this happens is I have cube one and cube two or two and three. If I go to this here, it tells you cube four, cube four. So they share actually the same mesh. This is the, the object name, and then this is the, the mesh name. Because you have to think about it this way. Uh, maybe Illustrator, you do draw a text frame, and then in a text frame, you write in them the text. So the object, this object, uh, basically is the container and then here in the mesh is the polygon stuff, aka text. So with all that stuff set, we will make a linked copy. Uh, or no, hold on, we'll do it this way first. So shift S cursor to world origin, then we will make a small cube. In edit mode, I scale this one down bring to there and I will rotate this cube there as X scale this down a little bit more there and this one up okay good very nice I can select my brush Go to Boolean, uh, go to modifiers, add a Boolean modifier, move this on top, select difference, and then I select the cube. So this one is gone. Very good. Now I can make a duplicate copy. Don't move it, so press escape. And with this copy, instead of difference, we say intersect. Okay, this box uh, kind of like it's in my view. So I go to object, properties, view, and say wire. Very nice. Now this, let's say we work this, I would like to give a green material. You would normally say, okay, here, new, and green. But then the other one is green. We select this one we see hmm, it's the same. Well, because both objects use the same material for the mesh 
data, this one. So what we will do for the materials is instead of data, we will say we'll just apply a material to the whole object container there. Whoops, I meant this one. And then here, this will be object two and for example, the green silicone. So with, with the object, what this basically means is just one material to apply to all the mesh, what it's uh, ever kind of like inside. The nice thing about this technique is I don't have to deal with subdividing my mesh. I can move this split tool, for example, up and down, which pretty much simulates the process of a split body in Fusion. Now, for 3D printing purpose, let's say we would like to create a small key. This is um, a good exercise. We can actually print these two parts, line them up, with tape and then super glue, but chances are higher that we might make a mistake, misalignment, and then it's glued together incorrectly. So we will build in a small key that can be really simple. So we'll go to edit mode for the cube, select this uh, face and object mode and make sure this is scale one. So apply scale and then I press I, make an inset there, uh, SNX, there. okay, SNY, I will switch to wireframe mode, okay, SNY, there, trying to give enough material left and right. To measure the length of these edges, we can go to overlay and then say measurement length. So, um, 0.004, so four millimeters. We can also go to here, units and set length to millimeters. So four millimeters, 13 millimeters. Okay, very good. Now, if we press E and extrude this one up, we're building a small key. If I hide this and hide this one, boom, there, you see? There we have a small key. And I think I mentioned it before, but boom is my daughter's no most favorite word. And there we have the other key. So you can see if we then print this out, it will help us to align these two parts. The last thing that is now important to understand when, for example, we go into the rendering, we have to move all these objects together. So if I just move this one, then you see it deforms. If I move this, it deforms. So these two linked objects, then this cut object and also the curve. If we move all this, you see, then it all stays together. And I think that pretty much summed up everything I wanted to show in this quick video. Basically showing you to split this object into two different while maintaining the same geometry. <clears throat> Here's another reason why, for example, this is a good process. So uh, you see this is dipped in a little bit. Let's go to uh turn turn this off there and i don't really like how this is actually here at an angle so gg bring this to there gg bring this up and maybe this point here i move out a little bit more and there okay good now, because these two objects are linked, if I hide this, go to here, go to edit mode, you see the same change being updated to there. So because they're linked, but share the same mesh data, it doesn't matter which object I added, it will always be perfectly in sync, which means at 
cut sections like here. I could go, for example, to here. Uh, maybe select this one, move this to there. When you see, then the green one follows it. Okay, perfect. That's it. The phone is beeping. Let me just figure out who that is. Outrageous. I'm doing a demo on the call me.